Hello everybody and today I'm going to show you how to make these DIY antlers. I wore this for a makeup look recently and it went down really well. Everything I used in this tutorial except for the headband was from Hobbycraft and it only cost me £5. So the first thing you're going to need is a headband. Mine is just an old one and I pulled the accessory off it. You're also going to need some pipe cleaners, some brown textured ribbon, some fake flowers, some glue, You'll also see there's some pink ribbon on the table, I didn't end up using that. You'll also need some scissors, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take four pipe cleaners and start twisting them together. Then fold them in half, and pinch the end, and also twist the end a little bit. And twist it up so it's flat, so that bit will stick onto your headband. Then twist the other bits together, not all the way to the top because we are going to then separate them and make tiny little branches. Um, I've gone for three separate branches, so I've got one pipe cleaner on the right, three pipe cleaners on the left and four pipe cleaners in the middle. Trim them if you need to because we don't want them all the same length because that doesn't look very realistic. Then do the same with another set. Figure out where you want to place them on your headband and then start gluing. This glue didn't end up to be strong enough and dry quick enough so I ended up using uh, a different all-purpose glue that was suited for like fabrics and wood and metal and all sorts. I thought this one was when I bought it but it wasn't. Um, but I'm just placing glue onto the pipe cleaners and on the headband and then holding them down until they've stuck. This wasn't then strong enough so I decided to take about four or five inches of the brown ribbon that I've got, glue some to the end of it and then wrap around really tightly around the headband and the antlers so it's more of a stable base. This is the other glue that I ended up using. You'll notice that I've got an old paintbrush here, but in the end I found it easier just to take it straight from the tube onto the antlers. So then we are going to do the same with the other side, stick it on and then wrap around the ribbon to make it stronger. Wait for it to dry for a bit and then we are going to carry on with the ribbon. So I'm splitting the ribbon exactly in half um, so I have the same amount to use on each side. Then put a little bit of glue right at the base and then start wrapping round. And you want to make sure that when you're wrapping you don't want any of the pipe cleaner showing. I found later on that it was um, an easier way to get the ribbon to stick because um, they kept moving as I was trying to wrap them around was to put a little bit of glue on the pipe cleaners um, just like one stroke all the way up one of the branches and it would stay in place better. Then when we get to the first um, little sticky out bit, I don't know what to call these, um, <laughs> branch I suppose, um, then I'm going to go straight up that branch. Once you get to the end, then we're going to cut it off and then glue it in place and glue it so it looks a little bit thinner by just pinching the end a little bit. Now you see me here doing the method that I told you about which was putting a little bit of glue on the pipe cleaners before you start wrapping carrying up the branches again and I'm going up the smaller one first um, because it will be easier to wrap around more ribbon along the longer one and there is our first one done if there's any pipe cleaner showing then you can just go back in with the remaining ribbon and patch that up a little bit and we're just going to do the same to the other side
and those are the antlers done. Now I'm going to take my fake flowers and these have got um, wired stalks so I'm just going to cut them off um, leaving about an inch and a half or two inches of wire left so they're easy to wrap around the headband. And then I'm going to just figure out where I'm going to place them and then wrap the wire around. Once I've got them all in place I'm going to glue them on the bottom. Wait for them to dry and then you are all finished. Here are some photos of me at the Daily Mix slash Gleam Halloween party where I wore them and with the makeup. The makeup I copied off Shan XO's makeup tutorial which I'll link on the screen now. And I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you end up making them for Halloween or for any other event then let me know on Instagram by tagging me. On the screen now is the vlog where I wore them and you get a little bit more into my outfit and my makeup that I did. So make sure you click on that and I'll see you very soon. Love you, bye! I'm in the loo, I've just filmed with Daily Mix. I'll just show you my outfit for a minute. Um, this dress is from New Look. Just a nice pretty lady dress to go with like the flowers on here. Um, so I've just filmed with Daily Mix a little bit, talking about my outfit and um, why I love Halloween. So hopefully that should be on the Daddy's channel pretty soon. Um, but I am really tired, my ability to hurt is, and I need a drink. Non-alcoholic.